As we have previously discussed, trading in the secondary market is usually done via the stock exchange. Because so much attention is paid to the stock exchange in the financial news, and because it impacts so much on the financial system, this video in particular will focus on the operation of the stock exchange. The stock exchange provides a liquid market for investors to buy and sell shares. The word liquid means that investments can be quickly and easily turned into cash at a price which reflects their fair value. And this will only happen if there are many buyers and sellers willing to trade at prices just above or just below the current market price. The other thing that a stock exchange does is provide a mechanism to establish the market price or the fair price of the shares through the forces of supply and demand. We said earlier that funds from the sale of shares in the secondary market do not flow through to the issuer of the shares. But there are still advantages to the issuer of the shares from the fact that the stock exchange exists. Investors are more likely to buy shares in the primary market if there is a market for them to sell their shares afterwards. The mechanism for establishing the price of shares is also an advantage to the issuer of the shares. An increasing share price is an indicator that management is doing its job well in increasing the value of the firm and the wealth of shareholders. Historically, stock exchanges were places where people met and traded shares face to face. Another word for this type of activity is floor trading. But very few stock exchanges today are based on floor trading. One of the few is the New York Stock Exchange, typically referred to as Wall Street. Most stock exchanges, including Australia's, operate on the basis of an electronic trading system, where the stockbroker enters orders to buy and sell shares on behalf of his or her clients using a computer terminal. A number of different electronic trading systems have been used over the years in Australia. The current one is called TradeMatch. Most countries have at least one major stock exchange, allowing investors to buy and sell shares in listed companies. Some of these are well known and are often mentioned in the financial news. Can you name the largest stock exchange in the world? It's the one we just mentioned, the New York Stock Exchange, often abbreviated as the NYSE or Wall Street. It was founded in 1817. How about the largest stock exchange in England? Most exchanges are named after the country or city in which they are based. The main stock exchange in England is the London Stock Exchange. It was founded in 1801. At the time of recording this video, it was the third largest in the world, although the rankings change from time to time. The principal stock exchange in Japan is the Tokyo Stock Exchange, founded in 1878 and currently the fourth largest in the world. So if Wall Street is the largest, London is third and Tokyo is fourth, what is the second largest stock exchange in the world? The financial news often mentions a stock exchange which lists high-tech stocks, such as Apple and Google. It's called NASDAQ which originally stood for the National Association of Securities Dealers Automated Quotations, although the system is no longer owned by the NASD. It was the world's first electronic stock exchange when it began trading in 1971. What about Australia? Most people are aware that the main stock exchange in Australia is the ASX, but not everyone realises that ASX stands for the Australian Securities Exchange, not the Australian Stock Exchange. We'll look at the history of the ASX shortly. The ASX is the 14th largest stock exchange in the world. The history of the ASX dates back to soon after European settlement. During the mid-1800s, independent stock exchanges developed in a number of cities throughout Australia. In 1903, the exchanges in each of the six capital cities began to meet informally. In 1937, 
they formed an association, the Australian Associated Stock Exchanges, in order to facilitate cooperation and work towards uniform trading rules. In 1987, the capital city exchanges merged to form the Australian Stock Exchange. It was formed as a company and listed itself on its own exchange, the first stock exchange in the world to do so. In 2006, the then Australian Stock Exchange merged with the Sydney Futures Exchange to form the Australian Securities Exchange, on which are traded not just stocks, but various derivatives such as options and futures contracts. <laughs>